Hello. Okay. I haven't got any makeup on because you don't want anything to create a barrier. And then my lashes, I've put the glue across the band, but also bring it under the band a little bit on top of the band and make sure you get your edges. I've used this glue. Oh. It's Kiss, it's back to front. Um, it's latex free, 24 hour waterproof. That's what you wanna look for when you're choosing a glue. Latex free and waterproof because it will make it last longer. And whereas we're like with latex glues, when they dry, they go like stringy. So that's why they kind of roll off. So I'm just waiting now. It's really hard with lighting. For it to kind of go a little bit bluey clear. So can you see some bits are white? And then further along here, it's going to go like a clear blue colour. That's when you know that it's almost ready to apply. I do both of mine at the same time to save time. So I know that this one is my left one and this one is my right one. Um, and then when I apply it, I just do it with one hand. <clears throat> just waiting for it to dry. Normally I'd brush my teeth whilst I was waiting for it to dry or do something else. But I'm just waiting for it to dry. little bit longer so the reason you apply like I'm applying it with nothing on is then I can put my makeup over the top whereas if I already had eyeliner on and then I tried to put it on it and it went wrong it would ruin the makeup that I already had on but also it would create a barrier so it wouldn't stick and last as long okay so these are pretty much ready to go so depending on which one is drier first is what I start with but what you want to do is look I'm trying to do it looking at here and at the mirror but what you want to do is place it as close to that lash line as possible so see where your lashes meet your lid that's where you want to stick them and start on this part of the eye because you can get that in and anchor it down and then move it into place so I'm looking down at the mirror and I'm coming in on top of the lashes. And then I've kind of got it in place. And then I just push it in from the outside. Make sure that, that an that's anchored down. And then I use my finger to poke that corner in. Ta da! Look how much better I look with lashes. So I'm still looking down at the mirror. Don't um, try and blink or move around too much. If your eyes are watering, it's not going to stick um, because the water will create a barrier. So if your eyes are watering, just close your eyes for a few minutes and still just kind of like push it down and then gently open again. Like that. And then what I do is I just squeeze my lashes against it. It just helps to make it grip a bit more. So I'm going to do the other one before it dries. So I look down at the mirror. Put the outside into place first. This eye I tend to come round to the side. And just move it down into place see here I've got a gap so all I'm going to do is lift it and reposition it so just lift gently and roll it down to reposition it they're a lot easier to apply when the glue is almost dry I'm just having a quick look in the mirror Yeah. 
and then you can check that it's stuck by just gently pulling down can you see there's a little gap there that bit hasn't stuck but i think that's where my glue was pretty much already dried so now i'm just pushing it like bouncing the lashes into the lid and then it sticks i hope these are new lashes these are from Romwe, and i think they were about one pound Ta-da! Um, so that's that basically. Um, that's how you apply lashes. Would you like me to show you how to do eyeliner now? Should I just do my whole face? Yeah, I'll just do my whole face. Okay. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've already put a little bit of serum under my eyes. Now I'm going to do my face cream. So a little bit here, a little bit here. And whilst I'm doing this, I like to watch Good Morning Britain or a bit of This Morning. So I'm just rolling that under my eyes. And then onto my lids as well. It's really important that you remember to moisturise your lids, especially when you get to my age. I know you've just had a birthday, you're getting a bit older now. So you might want to consider eye cream. Now I've got my collagen moisturiser. It's a wrinkle decrease because I'm getting a bit old now. So just, oh, I'm not swearing at you. I just lift it out of my middle finger. Warm it and moisturise. I don't like to put too much of this cream on just before I put makeup on because otherwise it um, makes my makeup slide off. So that's that down. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. As you can see, I like this one, it's running out. This is e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I also use this as foundation, I have it in another colour. So give myself panda eyes and I'll go in with my beauty blender and get the point into the corner of the eye. And you can just use a beauty blender to blend it out. I also use it around my nose as well, like the excess product. Get in the corner. Dust off my nose. So yeah, and I just use any excess product in other areas, particularly where I have redness. Um because I need a little bit of extra coverage there. That's concealer. Now I'm going to do a bit of foundation. So I'm just going to go with the all night long face coverage foundation from Barry M. I like this because I like that when you pump it, the mechanism goes up so you don't have wastage in the bottle. Um, don't particularly love it as a full coverage foundation. It's not full coverage, it's just coverage. Um, but considering I couldn't test out the shades or anything, I think I picked a pretty good shade. So I'm using this on a stiff sipple brush. This is called Call My Bath from the Skinny Dip Barbie collection. And I'm just gonna tap here. Oh, it looks like clouds. Um, and then just dust it out. So I always start in the centre of my face where I need more coverage and then blend it out. And I'm not pressing hard, I'm just sort of like wiggling it. It's a 
bit hard in there to do it in a foam. So circular motions, blending out, and then when you've got less product on your brush, you can go underneath your jawline so you don't get a line. And on the other side. And I am going over the concealer a little bit as well, just to blend it in. Make sure you get up to the hairline with your excess product. Don't ever start on your hairline because you'll just dump the product into your hairline. I need a bit more coverage on my chin. And then my forehead. Oh, I love that. Okay, into my hairline. Should I use my ring light? Never mind. Next time. And then just make sure that you've blended in up here as well. Okay, now I'm going to set it. Oh, you can also use a primer before your foundation. This one's quite nice. Becca First Light Priming Filter. And it smells good. Sometimes put a few drops of this underneath my foundation, rub it in and a little bit goes a long way. These are like the liquid chrome berry and brightening highlighting drops. They're all right. Okay, so where's my powder? So I'm finishing this one up at the moment. Don't love it. Colour's okay. It's a little bit talky. This one's quite good. It's a little, I think it's about a pound more expensive. And I, I think this is like my fourth or fifth one. It's okay for like every day. But obviously I do prefer my Clinique. But I'm just trying to use this one up at the moment. Because I can't shut my makeup bag. So again, start in the centre of the face. Because that's where you want your coverage to really last. Load up the brush. Shake. And circular motions, you want to make sure that you've got this even all over because this is what's going to set it in place. You don't need to put so much on that you're baking like a drag queen, but just enough that you've got a nice silky light layer of powder all over the foundation because this will just make it last longer. And it will also, when you go to blend on like anything else afterwards, this will having a sheet of powder helps everything to blend more and it won't go sticky and patchy on the wet foundation and make sure that you get in the corners of your eye and on top of your lashes because you want to set that too okay so i just check yep we are good Okay, a bit of speedy contouring now. So I'm just using the MUA bronzer in Solar and it is quite matte. It's not glittery or anything. It's really hard to get a matte one um, on the high street. My fan brush is pretty much dead. I've had it for a very long time, but I still really love it. And I actually quite like the shape because it's shaped to my face. You can see where my cheekbones <laughs> have worn it down. <coughs> So I'm just loading up my brush, tapping it off, and then you want to shade, feel where your cheekbone is. My cheekbone's quite high, and you want to go just below it, so I just curve it across my cheek, but not on my high point. So on my cheek, I bring it up to my hairline. So you can do this in circular motions. My brush is now shaped to my face, so it, I just naturally 
see where it falls but I'm shading here and then I'm going to come under here and then down my nose and that's going to slim my face. So keeping it below the high point of your cheekbone. Pouting is optional. <laughs> that's actually quite fun, I might do more videos. Do you like my uh, little setup? Do you also like um, my cushion collection? I'm quite enjoying it at the moment. Okay, my nose, because I have got a little nose, but I just like a bit of sharpness. And another little trick, just get in here, because it just gives you such definition on your eyes. And as you know, like I do make quite a feature of my eyes and my nose, just to make it cute. And I normally go under my lip and then dust under the chin to give your jawline some definition. Just making sure I'm even, it's really hard in the lighting. Highlighter. So this is Revolution. Uh, make an impact. It's kind of a pinky gold. I never thought I would have gone for that. I always had like a golden colour um, or something a bit lilac-y because obviously I wear a lot of pinky lilac-y sort of colours. But a student bought me this and I loved it so much that when it broke I bought another one. So swell, tap. So I only go on the top of my cheek, but then I also just swipe it over the brow bone. So I've got like a nice halo. And if you smile, you can rub it off the apples of your cheek just to give you that extra shine. And then just down the center of the nose because we've contoured either side. So we've shaded, now we're gonna highlight and then that will just bring it out a little bit. Um, try not to do the end of your nose because it's not Christmas and Rudolph is hibernating. Okay, and then we are going to find my blusher brush. And now we're gonna mix it in because you don't want dark highlight, you want it to glow. So this one I just got, it's called Exposed by Rimmel Maxi Blush. Just kind of a natural color because I was using this, an Estee Lauder set that I've had for so long that I'm trying to use that up and I'm nearly there. Um, but I just mix all the colours together um, and then blend it in. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to use one colour. So I roll my brush in it, tap it off, and then just roll it up the cheeks just to blend it in. But I also dust this off the rest of my face just because when you naturally flush, you don't just flush on the cheeks, you flush on the whole face and then off the nose. That's my blusher face. That's how I do blusher. Legit. Okay, so our face is done. Our lashes are done. Now we're going to do the eyebrows. Um, excuse how bad this is. I have got a new one, but I don't like wasting a product. So I use a soap bar. <laughs> it's so bad. I and mean, it's only 50p, but I just won't waste it. So... I get my soap bar and I get a brush and then I spray it. So at the moment I'm using this MUA Pro Base and I actually really like this one because my Revolution CBD one ran out and I can't get it anymore. So I got that one and I quite like it. So I'm just rubbing <laughs> my brush and then I'm going to brush through my brows. So I laminated them and tinted them at the weekend to help them stick up more. But this just... You just brush it. You don't want loads of soap and you don't want the soap too wet. You just spray it down a little bit and it just puts your brows into place. Like And then I'm just going to use some powder just to fill in my black, my, my blacks, my blanks, gaps, not blankety blank, my gaps. 
So you use Revolution. As you can tell, I actually quite like a bit of Revolution. Revolution Pro. And it has two shades, which is super useful because if I just use the dark one, it's too dark. The light one's too wishy-washy. So I tend to start with the light one with a flat brush and then add a little bit of dark. And I always start on my ends. Oh, this could be hard. And I literally, just where it looks sparse, I just run it through. And then I'm going to go in here as well. Oh, it's so hard to do in your camera. So I just fill in that because that's where I'm lightest. Same on the other side. I'll do. I'm only going to fix Grandma's shed. Okay. So, eyeliner. I mean, with these, I could probably get away with not too much eyeliner. But when you're doing eyeliner, you want to look down at the mirror and rest it on the base of the lashes and then just short darts. I try and keep my brush quite like flat and then stroke it out. Sorry, you can't see that. And then when I go underneath, I look in the mirror and just bring it down just to get rid of that line and then when you want to do your flick you want to look at the mirror and follow this line so I, I know that I'm coming down to here so imagine you're drawing a line to join up to your bottom one bring the line down and then just fill in the corner there you have your flick. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye. My makeup doesn't normally take me this long to do. <laughs> And that just fills in that little gap that I had there. Well, I'm just going to even myself out. Okay, so see here, I've made a mistake because I wasn't actually looking at what I was doing. I was just doing that because I was trying to film it. So I'll get a cotton bud and I can just wipe it. And when you do it, if you roll it down, it stops it smudging everywhere. So see, I want to wipe that bit away. I roll it towards and it helps to stop the smudging. So see I've got a little bit here, I can just get my brush. Which I've now lost. Just get your foundation brush that still has a bit of foundation on and you can just tap over it and it just takes it away I'm just doing the same the other side to try and make it look a bit more even yeah 
So I'm just going to tidy that up again. I never make mistakes with my eyeliner like this. The pressure. Okay, that'll do. Eyeliner, lashes. Now a pencil. Just going to sharpen it. So, I start on the corner of the eye and I just wiggle it along my lash line. Same on the other eye. Rub it, that just gives you definition on the lashes. And then I go in my waterline here, so look away from it and just go. So I start here, wiggling it. And then I just go along my waterline looking down so I don't touch the coloured bit of my eye with the pencil. Same on the other side. This helps to blend your lashes in as well in case you've got any gaps. And then I just do the same on the bottom. If you don't like touching your eyeball with it then you can just lift it down and wiggle it. Just wiggle it along any gaps. Ta da! And now mascara. This is the Revelation. I thought it was, it was was in the CBD range, but it's actually not. It's called Blowout, but I just like it because of the packaging. So take off the tip, you don't need to put mascara on um, false lashes but I just wiggle it along my bottom lashes, hopefully you can see that, so look down at the mirror and then I like to just blend in the lashes so don't do it across the whole thing but just roll it on your natural lashes at the bottom. And it just helps to blend them in a bit more. So that's my eyes. Um, eyeshadow, use a fluffy brush and with a natural colour and I just put that all over the lid. And then just for a really quick bit of colour, I normally put some colour on this brush and I tap it in here and wiggle it. I've still got a little bit of eyeshadow left on this, so you might be able to see. And same on that one. Dig it into your brow bone and just wiggle. And you just get a little bit of a shadow there. And then take the colour underneath. That looks like I'm just rubbing it on, but I'm not. It's just on this little section here. It just ties your colour in a bit more. And my favourite thing to do is I get a really small little brush. Nearly sprayed the camera. And R.I.P. Topshop. This is a Topshop like a shimmer. It's got like a bluey colour to it, but it just goes with everything I wear. And I lip just pop this in the inner corner and it just gives your eyes a bit of a pop makes you look like you've tried when you haven't really done much okay lips because I'm gonna put some lips on now anyway okay so I've just got a damp cotton bud and it's going to clean the foundation off my lips, which if you're not putting anything on your lips, I recommend you do, because you'll actually make your lips look so much smaller if you've got bits of foundation around the edge. So even this and a bit of Vaseline will just bring it out a bit. See how much bigger my lips look already. So this is from Beauty Pie. It's just a natural 
um, lip liner. It's called Wonder Gel Lip Liner. It's getting a bit blunt because I've used it every day. So start in the centre and just line your lips. And I use my finger to smudge it in. And then keep it by. And then just shade in your lips a bit. Just realised I dropped my lipstick down the back of the dressing table. Okay, so smudge it in. And I'm just going to grab some lip balm. Why do they make tins like this? And you, like, you just can't open them. Like, who who thought of that? And also, who hasn't listened to consumers' feedback? Because I know so many people that don't like this. Like, I can't get into the blimmin' thing. I might use my screwdriver. No, it doesn't work. We're in. So I just put a lip balm and this just helps to blend it all in. 